Good morning. Welcome to Tuesday. Sunday was Joy Sunday, and holy cow, what a wonderful joy weekend uh, on Saturday night. The choir and handbells and instrumentalists provided a, a concert, and it was amazing. And we had people from the neighborhood who didn't know anything about our church saw it on, online and, and came. And afterwards, uh, a group of women said, were any of those choir people members of your church? And I said, they're all members of our church, and you can hear them every Sunday. That's how good they were. And Sunday morning then, the children did their pageant, Angels and Shepherds, and, and what a joy. But the joy was really <clears throat> at the end when Monica and Isak brought their baby forward as the baby Jesus. It was the first time Raphael had been in church as, you know, only six, seven weeks old. Wow, that was, that was joy-filled. But there's a piece I read by Steve Garnes Holmes to begin the service that I wanted to share with you, and it's called, What If God Is Joy? What if God is joy? What if the Father is bliss and the Son is gratitude and the Holy Spirit is gleeful wonder? What if creating is God's play? And the Big Bang was an outburst of happiness and the galaxies are spun from pure delight. What if gravity that holds the universe together is simply the pleasure of harmony and every created thing's ecstatic desire for one another? What if Earth is God's great celebration, spinning and dancing and making music and beauty and inviting everyone in to feast and wonder? What if being itself is such a miracle that God, God gets endless enjoyment out of it? What if God doesn't own a throne, most uncomfortable, and has never handled a gavel, but has a million musical instruments? What if God went to hell every weekend with a load of tissues and listens to everybody who've locked themselves up there until they've cried out all their sorrows and they come out together laughing and dancing? What if it means, what, what if what it means to come to God is to enter God's joy? What if the work of justice is to enable everyone to truly know joy? And would that not mean that cruelty and injustice are most heinously sinful? What if even in our grief and despair, the root of our being is joy and resurrection means passing through our sorrow to God's delight? And what if salvation means being rescued from our inability to rejoice? Why not? Why not? Do you, do you think you can convince me that God is all somber and serious? What if even now, as you consider this, and it's kind of silly, well, God is laughing and waiting. I just find such joy in all those questions, what if, and while there are many really great lines, what if God goes to hell every weekend? What, a, what an image with loads of tissues and listens to everybody who's locked themselves up in there until they've cried out all their sorrows and they come out together laughing and dancing. Beautiful. So this joyful week as we anticipate uh, Love Sunday, which is also Christmas Eve, I look forward to sharing this last week together with you. Have a grateful day.